throughout most of history, there was one way to get your music heard. Labels. First, you got to write the song. Then you got to find guys who can play the song. Then you have to find people who can record and mix it. Then you have to record and mix it. Then you have to press it on the vinyl, send it to your label. Pray to God that they like it enough to send you on a media blitz and a worldwide tour and, you know, maybe make money. But then 60s Suburbia rolled around and changed the whole fucking thing. Assuming your daddy or your friend's daddy had enough money to buy you a 16-track tape recorder, you can now do this shit in your fucking garage. Set up one of these bad boys in the middle of the room and then go one, two, three, four. The birth of a genre. Garage rock. Loud, distorted, passionate, sounds like shit. Um, reminds me of another genre I made a video on, like, the other day, I think, what the, oh, what fucking genre? They had a mentality. Fuck it. Let's do it ourselves. You hit up your homies and you're like, Hey boys, come over to my place. My father just bought me a fucking four billion dollar tape recorder. We're gonna make a gold record. We are, we're called the Sonics. So all of a sudden, you had hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions of these bands just pumping shit out from their garage. Every one of your neighborhood bands that had a little bit of moolah had a fucking vinyl. That was in fucking alien. That was alien. You know, what, you know how much a vinyl costs to make? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. And you would think, whoa, why don't we know so many of these garage rock bands from the 60s? Why does it just like the Beatles and the Stones? Well, it's because most of them were shit. They really only had like five good songs in them. But that's not what mattered. What they did is that they created community and a new mentality of, fuck it, let's do it ourselves. But if you look at the timeline of music, from like the 70s to the 90s, garage rock doesn't exist. And sure, the sound of garage rock doesn't exist, but the attitude does. This whole idea of doing it yourself isn't everybody. It's kind of festering, mainly in the underground for most things, you know, if you look at punk and alt rock and all that loser core shit from like the 70s to the 90s, that's all garage rock incarnate. Until we get to the 2000s. And we have the big boom, baby. Garage rock, the grand garage, the garage rock revival. Bands like the White Stripes, the Strokes, the Black Keys, the Hives, the Arctic Monkeys, the Yeah Yeah Yeahs, the fucking everybody, the fucking everybody, everybody, everybody. Do you get that through your fucking ev Everybody wants to be the cool fucking, we're grimy, we're edgy, look at us boys, come on, hey, hey, we're the Strokes, yeah, see? And after the early 2000s, that shit kind of just died, but that doesn't matter. Because a little thing that was festering, ooh, what's that, ooh, what are you, what's festering, ooh, what's the thing that's growing? Oh, it's fucking indie rock, dude, it's fucking indie rock. My name's fucking Indie Rock Man, and I'm here to fucking indie your rocks, bitch. Indie Rock, the golden child of garage rock. The whole idea of fuck it, do it yourself, incarnate. Indie Rock, there she is in all her glory. Garage walk, garage rock, that's really fucking hard to say. Garage rock in the 60s walked so that indie music today could fucking sprint, baby. It's not even just rock, dude. It's every genre to pop, to rap, to country, to a fourth one that I can't think of. Everybody is just fucking doing it on their own. If we put up a Venn diagram of Ken Carson, Claro, and Zach Bryan, there's going to be way more overlap than there is not going to be overlap. They're all recording on a cracked version of FL Studio. They're all mixing on a fucking pair of AirPods and going, Ooh, that's, that's, we should tweak this. We should tweak X or Y, maybe Z. Fuck it. Let's go with Z. Music is way less segmented than people think. <clears throat> so what's the big idea? Well, the big idea is that what started as a fringe and very localized genre is now kind of the hip shit, dude. You know, <laughs> the zeitgeist of music today. You go on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube Shorts for, I don't know, and it's just full of these kids promoting their song in your face, 20, constantly 24-7. Everyone's doing it. There is so much new music that you can't even fathom what a sound is anymore, I think. Who knows? But what, who, what I know. Garage Rock made music. Guitar me, pussy.